What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Check out the artwork back here. It's dope, right? We got the back room graffiti um, from some homies. So, I'll show you guys a little bit. It's a little dark back here, but you guys can see we got the LV wall. Some of you guys have seen this on my Instagram. I took a picture of the drippy haircut right in front of this. This is actually our bathroom. But when you close the door, it completes the image. Bam, we're gonna turn this into like a lounge area back here. So, got all this, uh, that's the breaker box, sorry. But uh, Mount Hood right there, the Brass Eagle, the homies, This is these are the two homies that did it, this and that. And then we got the brain in the middle. So this is the new back room. <clears throat> but today, I'm gonna try to, not try, I'm gonna do, we're gonna talk today about how I use and tips that I like to use when using the Tomb 45 Beard and Lineup Enhancement, AKA the No Drip. <clears throat> so, let's, uh, let's get the day started. I just finished my first lineup. I was gonna shoot on him, but he's doesn't wanna be on camera. So, anyways, <clears throat> let's get the day started. Let's go. Okay, I got the boy Miles here. So I'm about so to uh, cut Miles' hair. I've already done a tutorial on his haircut, so you guys can check that out. I will link it uh, up here. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the, the enhancement with the airbrush with the no drip system. And uh, so I'm gonna do his whole haircut, and then I'll show you guys at the end how I enhance his hairline naturally. So let's get it. Okay, so haircut's done. You guys can kind of see a little ball fade. So now Miles' is haircut. We're gonna enhance his hairline and make him look dumb crispy. So right now I have nothing on here. This is just all regular ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean his skin with alcohol first before I apply my color enhancement. And this is just gonna this is gonna take any impurities off of his skin and allow the color to stick to his skin as best as it possibly can. So just hit him with a little cherry alcohol. Nothing crazy. I go through way too many neck strips. I'm just gonna make sure he's dry. And then We're gonna take an old business card and we're gonna use that for our guides. So powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. That's why 80% of employers and post on the same thing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on his hairline. And that's gonna give me my, my guides to sh to shoot my straight lines. So what I'm using is the Tsum 45 Beard and Lineup Color Enhancement. Now when you get it in the bottle, it's gonna look separated like this. Don't worry, don't fret. Um, on, the, on the bottle, it tells you to shake for two minutes. So, ain't no shortcuts to it. You just shake it, okay? Now they recommend six to eight drops is all you need for a service. However, I find that I need a little bit more just to, just to not have to add stuff to my airbrush all the time. My Beam Team cordless compressor is dead right now, so I'm switching to Old Faithful. Now what you're gonna do is, once you have your color mixed up, it should look like this now. It's like a super dark brown. And then I'm just gonna literally add just enough 
to fill maybe an eighth of my reservoir down below. That's all I'm gonna need. And the reason you don't wanna fill your reservoir up is because this stuff does settle pretty quickly. And so um, you'll have to constantly mix and it doesn't work out that well. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna have Miles hold his head up straight. We're gonna place our corner in our corner, hold the airbrush about six inches back. Fellas, this is six inches as much as you wanna tell your girlfriend that. We gotta be back here. And you're just gonna apply it. And a little bit goes a long way on this stuff because you don't want to make it look overly enhanced. So there's our color. Now, zoom out a little bit, Freddie. Now, when I hit this with the razor, it's going to look ridiculously crispy. Okay, so. I'm gonna spin them around to the other side. So you guys can kind of see the before on it. And then when we when we add the after. So see I'm already out of I'm already out of solution, so now I'm gonna need to top it off a little bit more. And we're going to do the center of his hairline. That's going to be all we're going to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay his head back and we're going to hit him with the razor. And then I'm going to hit him with the uh, black ice barber pencil. I'm going to do a separate video on this one though so you won't see this today. But we're going to lay him back. And I'll show you guys the results afterwards. Let me see this ready. So I'm going to razor out his hairline now. And then uh, we'll show you guys the final results. Now, real quick, if you guys feel like you guys have overspray on here, you guys can spray a little bit of alcohol on here. That's going to break up the color. And then you, when, when you hit it with the razor, it's going to give you a crispy, laser-sharp line. So for his, I didn't overspray, so we'll be all right. But now we're going to lay him back, and then I'll show you guys the final results of the color enhancement and show you guys how natural it looks. Okay, so for the sake of learning, I'm still just gonna show you guys how to do the razor lineup with it. Now, my spray bottle is broken from alcohol, so I'm just gonna put a little bit onto a neck strip and watch closely. I'm literally just gonna tap on his skin. I'm not gonna smudge nor smear, just gonna tap. I'm gonna come and grab my razor and I'm gonna line up his hairline. So I'm gonna stretch the skin away from the direction that I'm running my razor. So, so I'm gonna be razoring up against, his, against the grain of his hairline. So I'm gonna be pulling down. So pull it nice and tight. Lay your razor at like a 45 degree angle. And just carefully razor into his hairline or up to his hairline. Being careful not to push it back. And like I said, with the uh, alcohol, that tends to break up the, the color a little bit. And then when you get in the corners, you guys know this from school, this is your toe of your blade, this is the heel of your blade. So for the corners, I like to use the heel of the blade and get right into that corner. That's how you get those razor sharp edges. Okay. Come here. And I'm going to pull against because I'm going this way. So, boom. Now we're going to come over here. And on this side of his hairline, instead of using the heel, we're going to use the toe of the blade for the corner. So we're gonna come right here, use just the toe of my blade. And so notice when I'm doing this, I have my heel raised on my blade. I'm just using the toe. 
That's gonna allow me to get that super sharp edge with Freddie. We come around here, shoot this way. So from right here, I'm gonna pull this direction and go down. So again, now I'm using the heel of my blade to get that corner set. Because I dabbed that alcohol in there, the colors broke up, which gets me that nice, crispy, straight line. Now, Miles' hair grows down here, so I can come here, stretch away, and I can come up with the toe or the, yeah, the toe of my blade and really define his side hairline. So, now let's set him up and we'll apply the Barber Magic Pencil. Let's do his eyebrows real quick while he's laying back. Okay, so now you guys can see the line up here is crisp, but natural. Doesn't look crazy. Just looks nice and natural. So that's how I use the Tomb 45 here to line up the spray. And then so when we let Miles' hair down, let him bang out. Kind of like tank loops. And then I got like 100 clips on my cape right here. Look, you don't, you don't even know about this. Like clip life. Okay, so now I'm going to surprise Miles with a new product that I have from Diva Curl. I'm going to put it in his hair and it's going to make his hair like dumb sick with the curls. So, because he got this, I don't know what's in here. This old bull, this old bull spit. So, so this is the cut right here. Clean little fade. Fresh little lineup. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without the stuff. This is uh, this is what it is though. Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. Defining Curl. Soft hold, no crunch styler. So we're gonna apply a little bit of water and then this gel and we'll show you guys the results. Next up we got Carson. Sir. Came in early for his haircut, which is much appreciated, so I don't gotta cut mops off. But uh let's see if I can turn this. There we go. So we're gonna cut the top probably half of what we have here because he wants the crop, the texture on top, but he want, doesn't want it long like that. So we're gonna do a short, heavy, heavy texture crop. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna either style it with one of the two products. We're gonna either gonna do the Tomb 45 Pure Powder or the Tomb 45 Indestructible Clay. I think we're gonna use the clay. So we'll leave this out. Kind of clean up my station real quick. I just got done with Miles. So uh, let's go. Dang, Carson. Sorry. Hey, I need you to go kick me like that? Do something else, bro. Fuego texture. With the blurry fade. Okay, the end of the day has came. Hopefully you guys got some good tips from that um, 245 product uh, display, whatever you want to call it, tutorial, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully that helps you guys use the 245 product. I'm tired, I've been cutting hair all day. So, hope you guys liked it. Um, if you're not a part of the team, hit the red subscribe button, join the team. I got a new logo, new merch is coming soon. I've been saying that for a while, but now I got something tight. So, be on the lookout, I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace.